Hey guys, what's up? This is a picture of my new Umnumzan, Chris Reeve. Um, I've had this one for a couple of days, and I'm loving it. Uh, I got another one in a trade a few weeks ago. It was the Wilson Combat, and um, I really love... I've never had this um, knife before. I've had a few Chris Reeve knives, but I've never had one in this configuration. I'm sorry, I've never had an uh, Umnumzan at all. So this is my second one after purchasing the first one a few weeks ago. And I'm going to tell you that I love this knife. I love everything about it. I love the way um, the blade has that little swedge on top. That little shark fin. And I love the way the titanium feels uh, with this uh, with these lines here. Um, I was able to get this one in the trade, so I went ahead and jumped on it. Um, I'm trying to get rid of some of my knives now. Because I seem to have too many knives that I don't carry. And uh, I've tried to do this in the past too. Um, trying to get rid of them. And just sticking to about three or four knives. But for those of you that love knives, you know it's very hard. I'm constantly picking up knives in trades. Or if there's a knife I really want to try out, I'll buy it. And then I'm kind of stuck with it because if I don't like it, I don't carry it. I do tend to give knives out as gifts to people on their birthdays and, and such. Um... But sometimes it's hard to give away a $300 knife, $300 plus. So, I'm stuck with a few knives that um, are really cool. I just don't use them. Anyway, let me give you a good look at this knife. It could use a sharpening, not because it's not sharp, but because it has a couple of little dings in the blade. This is the way it came. It still has most of the finish on it. You know that uh, real rough uh, sandblasted finish that Chris Reeve gives? I like the feeling of it, but everyone, I will agree with everyone that it's not a very uh, tough finish. It doesn't hide the scratches very well. Just having it in the pocket and rubbing it against stuff, it's going to get uh, some marks on it. Now, this was unique because it has these little washers on top. These little, these little washers around the double thumb lugs. What's neat about it is that it kind of cushions it when you open it up and it hits the titanium there. You don't hear that uh, that clicking that you normally hear when a knife hits its uh, the little stop here or like the striders when they hit the titanium uh, because it kind of dampens it. Now, from what I understand, you don't really need those for the function of the knife. It's not. I'm not really sure why they have them there except for aesthetics or maybe... Just to dampen the noise. Maybe. So, I've been carrying it since I got it. I have the other one that I've been carrying, and I love it. Um, the blade is very aggressive. The grip is really nice. It fits very good in the hand. Reminds me of the Benchmade, um, I believe it's the 940. That just, basically, it's like a stick. Uh, not too many grooves, not too much fancy... Uh, uh, cutting out of the titanium. It's basically like a big stick and it just seems to fit good in the hand I've seen these in the past and um, I've been tempted to get one Just uh, I've heard some weird reviews on it. It's not the smoothest knife probably because it doesn't have the Chris Reeve uh, pivot system that the other one has the the Sebenzas. this one just rides on washers and the more you tighten this pivot the harder it is to open and it even comes with instructions on how to open it you have to push straight that way and then swing it so it is a beautiful blade shape i love the feeling in the hand uh, I think I'm going to keep both of these and maybe trade off some of my other knives that I've gotten lately. Like maybe the Hinder uh, and maybe my Ramon Chavez 228. I know, right? That was, uh, I waited a long time for that knife. It's just a big ass knife. Not the most practical working edge on it. I mean, I really, I'm not even sure what I would use that knife for. This one's delicate enough for food prep, for cutting paracord. Uh, 
And I love that stone watch finish. Anyway, guys, um, does another look at it. Thinking about sending away um, the other knife to Chris Reeve and having him redo the edge. Well, not him, one of his workers, obviously. But um, having it re stonewashed and re sandblasted. Um, it could use, both of them could use that on the other one. And I think I'm going to put the other one away. It is the Wilson Combat. I think this one's the one I'll be using daily. And uh, I'll be using the Wilson Combat for, you know, going to church or, uh, you know, special occasions. And I'll let this one get uh, roughed up. But anyway, guys, this is just a little video to show you guys that I'll be switching over to the Umnumzons. I still love the Sabenzas, and I still have uh, the Carbon Fiber Knife Art Exclusive, uh, which I, I know I'll keep that one. I also have a small Wilson Combat Sabenza, and I'll be keeping that one and probably getting rid of all my other stuff. Uh, I have one Strider I use for work, and um, and I think I'll get rid of my uh, 228 and my maybe my Hinder. So if any of you guys are interested in it, uh, just write a message down below and uh, when I see it, I'll contact you if you guys are interested. Uh, I'm not even trying to get what I paid for it. I'm just uh, trying to get rid of it. Maybe let it go at a little uh, lower price just to, uh, uh, you know, m uh, move it out of my hands and to someone else's that's going to carry it. All right. Thanks.